What's going on guys, it's your friend Jack here and today we're going to be going over 5 Redbubble print on demand tips that will help you to increase your sales and if you know all 5 of these tips I will be quite surprised and I will even give you a free cookie down below in the comments if you want to you know let me know that you know all these tips already but I bet you don't. So there are a lot of tips that you could be given on Redbubble and there's a lot of tips out there that I have even covered in previous videos on this channel. However, today I want to share with you the first 5 tips that I would give to someone who is struggling to make sales on Redbubble. Some of these tips are going to be directly on Redbubble and things you can do on there and other things are going to be you know, more of a strategy or a way you can approach Redbubble to make more sales so stay tuned there are going to be some examples and some of it is just going to be me just talking so the first tip that I can give anyone who is struggling to make sales on Redbubble is make quality designs in quality niches so this tip often goes overlooked but in order to make sales you need to design in niches that people are buying and you need to stand out in the search results uh, in the niches that you're trying to make money in or design for you need to stand out in those search results in some way whether that be a lower amount of search results and a higher amount of your designs or just really really good designs um, one of those two ways is going to help you to make sales uh, a tool that i like to use is place it to make really nice designs without needing any design experience i'd highly recommend it or simple text designs on Photoshop with free fonts from places like thefont.com. It's another excellent way that anyone can type up something funny that someone identifies with and make sales. These are still quality designs in my mind. If they have an emotion attached with them, they're going to be able to drive sales. And that is very important to make people buy. Emotion triggers people to buy. This not only applies to Redbubble, but all pre-demand platforms. If you need help with designing, with place it or Photoshop or finding niches that I'll leave two videos down in the description that can definitely help you with this section of the video before we go on to tip number two I just want to you know kind of stamp down this tip into your brain it is very important that you take your time when you're researching and designing especially at first to develop some good habits that you are going to need going forward in your print demand business you want to develop good habits of making quality products quality designs in niches that are not too oversaturated and do have some demand in them along with something that people can actually you know get an emotional attachment with whether it be funny or sad or you know just loving something like that is very important and i want to make sure you guys know this when you're going forward in your print demand business all right the next tip is going to be using the right dimensions so I know a lot of people come over from Merch by Amazon and they don't change their dimensions for Redbubble and this can honestly really affect your sales especially in terms of you know stickers and especially greeting cards. I never really had any greeting card sales until I changed this about my designs but a lot of people design at 4500 by 5400 that is the Merch by Amazon design tab, like size that's what you have to do for Merch by Amazon. For Redbubble however if you can convert your designs over to 5,000 by 7,100 you're going to be way better off and then you won't have products looking like these right here. So these are best sellers in other categories but they are coming up high in the search results. However most of these cards you're going to see look really good in like actual cards and to in order to fill out the whole design and have the whole card black these people would actually have to upload the right dimensions which would be 5,000 by 7,100 to fill the card and these people are most likely using 4500 by 5400 and you're going to see it doesn't look so well there's a lot of empty space on the card same with this card there's empty space that would look a lot better if this whole card was just green right so those things are very important and you want to make your cards look like actual cards so having the right size is going to help you a lot with that and it's not going to look as unprofessional also when you put the dimensions at you know 5000 by 7100 you're going to find Pretty much all of your products are going to look way better and it's just a better fit for the Redbubble dimensions to use 5000 by 7100 rather than 4500 by 5400. And the third tip that I'm going to be giving you guys today is to take your time and find some lower competition niches when you're designing uh, before you start designing. Coming back to quality niches, uh, I'm throwing this tip in here along with the other tip about the niches because the niche you design for is very important. 
when it comes to sales and print demands on any platform. So and when I say the niche you design for, I also mean the niche you're trying to target with the keywords you're using in your listing. This is very important. The keywords you put in your listing do matter a lot and it is sad, but it, it is one of the most important parts that you're using the right keywords with your listing so you can rank for those lower competition search words and keywords that are going to actually rank for your design and get your design in front of other people. And trying to take the time to find a niche with less than 500 results uh, can be very helpful getting sales rather than just making a design in let's say the plumber niche with 12,475 results. Try to niche down, try to get more specific. So the first thing that came to my mind was Uncle Plumber. If you look at Uncle Plumber, we went from 12,400 results to 247. So right away, you can slash your you know, competition into almost nothing by just putting another keyword in with the word plumber. It could be, you know, it could be funny plumber. It could be best plumber, right? Best, best plumber is obviously more common, but best plumber, only a thousand results, not 12,000. So let's, let's just try something else. Um, you know, funny plumber, right? Funny plumber, probably a lot of designs, but you can look at these, take some time to actually go with them. Weird, weirdly enough, the first plumber design is a welding design and so are all of these, which is a little bit weird, but you can honestly niche down and finding a niche that is going to be, you're going to be able to rank for in keywords. Whether that be even after you design, if you can find some keywords that are lower competition than the generic ones that you're going to rank for that still apply to your design, do that too. Find some tags and keywords that aren't really that common and that competitive. Throw them in your listing and see if you can get some more traffic to your listing, some more eyeballs on the listing. All right, and the fourth tip I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is when you're in the bottom of your listing creation, most people leave their default product for their listings on optimized up here, which is just, or down at the bottom, which is just not good. You need to change this to either, you know, t-shirt, sticker, or mask. Those are my three favorites, but it is much, much better to manually select a product, at least in my opinion and experience, than it is to leave it on optimized where it might look okay. It might look terrible or it might look good. It's a very kind of weird way to do it, but this way you're not taking any chances. Put it on a put it on a piece of clothing or something that sells well. Mask, stickers, greeting cards, uh, t-shirts, things like that are going to sell a lot better than something like a pillow or an art print or an apron that aprons almost never sell. So put it on something that applies to the design too. Cater it so it looks good in the thumbnail. So base your sticker or t-shirt or mask off the fact that if it looks good on those products, if it doesn't look good on a mask, don't don't put this to a mask. So kind of use your head a little bit and think, what does this look best on? Okay, what sells pretty well? Okay, put those two together and then make a decision. You'll get pretty used to it pretty quickly, but pick something, don't leave it on optimize. And that is the fourth tip. It's actually a very overlooked tip. And it's something I think more people need to pay attention to, especially when they're just starting off. Stickers are usually my favorite because they are the best seller. And speaking of that, let's go to tip number five. All right, the next tip and the last tip, which is tip number five, is stickers sell. Speaking of products, the best selling product type on Redbubble is stickers. Okay, there's no question about that. Redbubble has announced it. Uh, stickers sell like crazy on Redbubble because they're cheap and they're simple and a lot of people like stickers. Uh, so when we're making designs for something, now we can make even more sales if we have a separate spot for the sticker section on Redbubble, especially if your sticker does not look good in the current design, which can happen, especially if you have a design like this, where there's a white text and you scroll down here, the sticker, it doesn't look so good, right? It does not look so good because we have white text on a white background and the sticker background's white. Uh, you need to replace this image or you can replace this image, which is really useful when you are wanting to make sticker sales and just increase your sales in general stickers are going to help your overall sales because they're going to boost your listings you know the, your listings ranking in search results your listings priority over other listings when it has a sales history on any of the products and stickers are the easiest place to make some sales because they are cheap and people buy them very 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 frequently so what you can do is click the replace image button and upload something that is either a different color text that is not white 
or put a outline around your design of some sort and let's see what that looks like after I change it. All right, now that I've uploaded this outlined version, it looks 100% better. Someone would definitely buy this over the previous one and now they can actually see what my design says, which is test. Obviously, this isn't an actual design, but it is really important that you make your stickers look good if you want to make some more sales on those listings and drive that you know snowball you can kind of get a snowball effect going when you get a few sales of stickers going on a listing because those can often lead to t-shirt sales or other types of products which for me they usually do a lot of the time sticker sales lead to t-shirt sales which lead to mass sales which lead to sticker sales and it's kind of like a snowball so make sure you get your stickers right this is really important if you do want to make more sales it is a really good idea to fix your stickers up and that is all the tips for today like I mentioned, if you know all of these tips, then comment down below and let me know that you knew all of them and I will give you a free cookie. With all that being said, if you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing and smashing the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's been your friend Jack. Peace out. Stay blessed. Keep striving.